hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to slice and package um cake slices for sale okay so i'm new in ireland and i just like started like finding things i could do for my business and how i can easily you know move back into doing my work anyway so i tried to make somebody ordered cake slices for this weekend and then I tried to make them and film them for you so if you're looking to add cake slices to your menu or you just want to make it for a party or just something you want to make for yourself in this video I'm going to be showing you how to and you don't need any serious tools like I had no mixer I have no serrated knives nothing I did them all by hand so today I'm going to be showing you how to do that okay first things first once your cakes are baked and cool you want to bake them in like a sheet pan like a flat pan so it can be really big okay so if you want to see the recipe for this vanilla cake I'm put, going to put the link right up here it says click on me yeah click on that okay so this vanilla cake I made it by hand you don't need a mixer either so what we are trying to do right now now it's already cold I already left it in the fridge for about two hours so it is really cold and now I'm trying to layer some buttercream into it so what you want to do is to slice off the excess by the side and when you're making cake slices, usually there are scraps, sometimes a lot, but the more you do it, the less scraps there'll be because you know how to manage and how much um, cake slices you can get from each sheet pan you get. Okay, so you want to slice off the brown edges by the side. And then the next thing you want to do is to cut the cake into two equal halves. Yes, divide it straight in the middle yes so that way for this cake i'm going to be layering it with some jam and some buttercream that i made by hand without a mixer <laughs> i keep saying without a mixer because i feel so good <laughs> so if you're looking to make um buttercream without a mixer i'm going to put the link right up here it says click on me yeah click on that okay so this is my jam it's just you know some raspberry preserve that i bought in the store so i'm going to spread it all around the cake yeah so once I've done that successfully, just on one side, because we're going to put one part of that cake on the other part. So it's going to be layered that way. Okay, so I'm going to add the buttercream and I'm going to spread it. I don't exactly have a spatula, so I'm just going to be using this silicon, you know, um, silic I don't have like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to be using this, you know, silicon stuff and it was so cheap and now it's broken. Anyway, so that's what we're going to be using. Just spread it evenly as much as you can. And then you want to take your cake and just put it on top of the other one. Yes, yeah, so this is what you want to do. So at this point, this is not the point where you slice your cakes into slices because the buttercream is still kind of stuffed and everything will be squishy and annoying. So you want to wrap it in some parchment paper and then you want to put it back on the tray on the sheet pan that you like baked it in and then you want to wrap the entire thing with cling film that way it keeps your cake moist and you can pop it back in the fridge for about one hour or two or in the freezer for about 30 minutes one hour so it can firm up that way when you slice you can have evenly nicely sized um sliced cake slices <laughs> what i just said <laughs> but you guys understand me so now we're going to wrap it in cling film completely because we want it to not dry out and we want it to be safely kept and not like um, absorb the smell of the things in your fridge so you want to always wrap your cakes that you keep in the fridge okay so once we have done that the next thing we want to do is for this order actually I'm making vanilla and red velvet so the same thing we did to this vanilla that's what we're going to do to the red velvet so you want to cut out um, a big um, parchment paper and you want to put it down and then like just dump your red velvet cake on top of it so this is our rubber cake too I didn't use a mixer or anything I just mixed it by hand and it was fluffy and delicious and if you need the recipe the recipe is going to be right up here so click on me yeah click on that <laughs> okay so the same thing we did to vanilla that's what we're going to be doing to red velvet and I don't want to take too much of your time or should I hmm. okay so guys the mistake I made with this red velvet was it wasn't cold enough so it was still warm so at this point when I'm adding some red please um, some raspberry preserve on it like it was still kind of warm but I wanted to just do it and dump it in the freezer so like it could cool down then I could come and slice this because 
I made it on Saturday. I made it that same day. So at the end of the day, the buttercream kind of ended up melting into it. It was delicious, but you couldn't see the buttercream because you already melted, and I didn't like that. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about once I'm done. So you want to make sure your cake is completely cold before you try to layer it. Yeah. Okay. So now that we've added enough buttercream, this buttercream is going to end up disappearing, but you know. I'll show you. So this cake gave me a tough time just trying to flip it over because it was kind of falling apart. But I kind of figured it out and just, you know, wrapped it together. And by the time you put it back inside the fridge, it will firm up and you won't notice it kind of almost fell apart. Okay, so now I'm going to take it and transfer it into the sheet pan again. And I'm going to wrap it in some cling film because, you know, you want it to stay moist and, you know, smell like cake in the fridge. okay so two hours later i took my cake out of the fridge and this is the vanilla one and this is time to slice yay i think this is my favorite part of making um cake slices so now we are going to slice it i don't know i've never made cake slices with this pan before so i don't know how many slices this will make me so it's a lot easier if you slice with a serrated knife but I don't have a serrated knife any longer so I'm just using my kitchen knife regular kitchen knife so we're going to be sliced I don't know how many slices I'll get out of this but let's see okay so once I was done I kind of put that to one side and I decided to do the red velvet just the same way I did the um, vanilla so one thing I want you guys to notice is the fact that once I cut the red velvet, you can't see the cream in between because it already melted into the cake. It was delicious, no doubt, but that's not what you want. You want to be able to see the cream in your cake because cake should have cream. It shouldn't just be cake, you know. Anyways, but this is what like came out and that was my fault because, you know, I wasn't patient enough. I didn't wait long enough for it to cool down before I started layering it okay see this is what i'm talking about look in between you can't see the cream can you because it has melted and it's annoying anyway so what i said to do was to take um the slices put them apart and then try to put some buttercream in between now that it is kind of cold but that was a little messy but i just decided to just leave it because it looked okay and it tasted awesome actually so I, I did i think i did just this part i did just this part and it was okay and one thing i want you guys to notice again is the color god like i hated the color but i bought the um food coloring i used from lidl and i don't really like it so maybe next time i'll find where else to buy because it's a red velvet cake why does it look like i made it with beets and I actually made it with food coloring anyways okay so this was it when i added some more buttercream to the middle and it was a little squishy but it was okay so when you're slicing your cakes make sure they are cold before you start to layer them together okay so now it is time to pack i bought these boxes on amazon and i'm going to leave the link for you guys in the description box below okay so these are my cakes and i'm going to show you how i wrap it i don't just put it in the cake um boxes like that the first thing i do is to wrap it in cling film first that way your customer can like take your their time to eat it and you don't have to finish it all at once and it will still stay moist and covered so we're going to be wrapping each slice so i'm going to take each slice of cake put it in the middle cut out some cling film and just wrap it neatly so that way you can still see through because i'm using cling film and it looks really nice yeah see how nice it looks so we're going to do that for every single slice of cake for the red velvet and for the vanilla and then we are going to pack it for the customer okay so um the paper notice that the white and black paper that i'm using to line my cake box i bought on amazon too i'm going to leave the link for you guys the size of the box is 30 times 25 i think yes 30 times 25 centimeters and I really love it. I think I'm going to buy more of it before I make my own customized boxes. Or before I find where they can make for me here. Anyway, so I ended up making about two boxes. And this was exactly what I wanted. I had some leftovers though, but you know, it was okay. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and it was useful to you. And you learned at least a little thing to put in your business or, you know, just a trial. 
thank you guys so much for always watching my videos and i hope you enjoyed this one because i absolutely enjoyed making it for you guys and i will see you in my next videos bye